Okay, so I uh, just got here and uh, they've done my model for me, so great. Thanks Kelly for colouring up my uh, lovely mannequin orange, that's great. Uh, so guys, I just thought we'll just do a little step by step. Uh, we've got plenty of length there and it was tempting to just go, let's leave it and do something very California. Uh, and then we talked just off camera before, you know, like disconnected or a shag. Uh, and I just feel like everyone's done it. I've been doing it for too long and I'm way over it. And then, uh, you know, and then someone the other day was like, give me a wolf cut. And I'm like, oh, that's basically a shag and a mullet having a baby. And they've got a wolf. So, and then you straighten it. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, I like that analogy. Yeah. Shag and a mullet having a baby. Like <laughs> so, you know, for me, it's just heavily layered, 70s inspired. And then it's, you know, and that's what people have been doing. There's loads out there from different brands and companies, so just thought, oh, what can we do differently? So I'm going to do an undercut today. Sweet, oh, right. so I'm going to do Love it. a nice yeah. uh, undercut. I'm just going to work it a bit offset as well. So I'm going to have a little bit of a, you know, my own kind of, kind of spin on it. So we'll work uh, a little bit higher with the undercut on one side, a little bit lower on the opposite side, and then in the nape area, we'll do a nice little uh, graduation. I cool. thought it'd be kind of nice for. Uh, for the followers of the factory just, you know, they know they like nice clean graduation, no pressure on me. <laughs> so, I uh, don't know, DJ is laughing at it when he checks it later. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> right, so let's crack on. Right, so uh, consultation wise, if the client's going to go for a change, then you're going to say what sort of length you're going to go. For me, consultation is key to any haircut, because once it's short, you can't stick it back on, but you can always go shorter. Uh, so key factors are really when you're doing a consultation is getting your client involved and getting them talking. Uh, so what do you like about your hair? What do you not like about your hair? And then another pro uh, question I always ask is like, what product are you using in your hair as well? Because they might be using the wrong hair care product. So then, you know, the finish is not gonna look as strong as you might do in the salon, all right? So in this case, Natural parting, she wears it on a natural side, so working it over to the, uh, the left hand side. Okay, so I'll put a little natural parting in there. So what I'm going to do there is just going to work around about the uh, high recession area. So I'm going to literally work a horizontal section at the high recession or above the curve of the head. So for me, I, use, I like to use my comb as like little tricks. Yeah, perfect. All right, so I put my comb flat on the, on the head and then you can start to see where the head starts to curve. So mm -hmm. you want to put your finger there or anything like that, then literally working on, on that curvature of the head. So it's a horizontal section, okay, so just literally work that through horizontally, comb that down, and then uh, we'll just get that rest of, the rest of the hair and we'll just isolate the top out of the way, okay? So step back. Cool. Yeah, that's alright. That's great. Right. And then what we're going to do on the opposite side, we thought we'd do it a little bit lower, okay? We'll leave it a little bit asymmetric. So instead of being exactly the same, we're going to go a little bit different. So we'll go diagonal forward instead of horizontal, and we'll go a little bit lower. So a few years ago, people would have said this was like the, kind of like maybe as wide as the comb or two fingers. Mm. And uh, a few years ago, people would have said that would have been more like a peekaboo undercut. Right. Maybe ever, uh, yeah. some people out there might have gone, "Oh yeah, I've heard that peekaboo." Uh, we heard it a lot a few years ago with colour. You know, like when people were putting colours in and they were saying, look, I'm just going to put like a little accent of colour or it's coming through the underneath, so like a little peekaboo of colour. Um, so as a hair cutter, uh, you know, that's when I took inspiration there and I was thinking, oh, I'm actually going to do a haircut around that. Alright, so... So sort of diagonal forward on diagonal, this one, yeah, to more forward. a line with this side. Yeah, that's right. So it drops it lower below the round of the head and then you've got this one above, guys. So. Yeah. And I think mean, straight away by the, the sectioning pattern, I think you can start to visualise what the shape's going to be like mm -hmm. as well. Because one side's going to be a little bit more square and one side's going to be a little bit more going on. Okay? Then, uh, do I just spin it? Oh, however right. you want, Paul. Do you walk around? Or I'll walk around. You do what you want. You're, I don't know. you're comfy. Yeah. I'm comfy. Alright. Alright, so what we're going to do? That was completely racist. I'm comfy. From uh, counties there. Oh, me? I'm comfy. Yeah, yeah. Comfy. Comfy. Right, so we'll do a diagonal back then. We'll do a diagonal back section going from that um, horizontal section. 
So if you just join us guys, we're just pre-sectioning off the haircut. Anthony Edge here is uh, with us and uh, he's going to work a nice little undercut bob uh, with a little symmetry to it and kind of moving away from you know the usual let's do a shag tutorial for you uh, which I guess you've been doing a lot of right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, you know um, my heritage is uh, you know from England but I worked for Tony and Guy London for 20 years and what's Tony and Guy known for? They're known for a lot of point cutting, personalising, customising and uh, you know, a lot of more shattered looks so Better. you know yeah exactly we made a fortune from that yeah. many over the years and uh, you know a lot of uh, our clients come to us here in san diego to learn those kind of haircuts so you know moving on you know i'm excited to uh, shoot our new collection next year uh, we're going to start shooting our new uh, 2022 collection in february every year we do a collection of haircuts and that's what i take on the road uh, people say, oh, what's your education? Well, it's basically the collection every year. Uh, we do. You do quite extensive collections. You don't do like, you don't kind of just like cop out on it. You go full on, don't yeah, you? Yeah, full on. Hair, makeup, Plenty clothes. of models, lots yeah, of different models. Yeah. Yeah, it's only 12 models. You go with the whole photography and then... Yeah. Um, that's, your, that's basically your classes, isn't it? That's yeah. That's your curriculum for yeah. the classes. So. Yeah, so we've got some new things happening, you know. Me and DJ talk all the time, but also mates off the camera. So we go to the club, we talk about what, what what's he doing for next year and, you know, teaming up and stuff. So, uh, you know, we're doing a photographic class for two days. We do uh, how to be an educator for three days. Uh, we do uh, how to, you know, junior stylist training. So that's been very popular. A lot of salons here in San Diego just need some help with their assistants. So we've been doing a bit like that. Just getting all sorts, really. Alright, so I think that's alright. That looks yeah. good. Looks okay. so yeah. You're, obviously, let's go back into it higher up um, on the natural decision here on the round of the head or eyeball, coming down into the occipital area all the way through and same through the other side. But on this side, instead of coming through more horizontal, we're coming more diagonal down. So that's where we're going to get the asymmetry from immediately. Yeah. Okay, so just to really make, break it down easier, this is coming off all this hair, and then this is going to get left longer, yeah. okay? So we're going to do another cut. All right, so when I do short hair, uh, male or female, I always start on the sides, yeah? It's just that uh, when I was about, I think I was about 18, 19 at the time, and I took somebody's hair too short and I was terrified, and it still st it stays with me now. Yeah. You now I'm 47 years old and I still remember that client like it was yesterday. <laughs> all right, so what I did originally, Watching books and videos and read out soon, Tony and Guy, you look at that. And they start at the back and I literally walked all the way around doing palm to palm. And by the time I got to the ear, that's when a client could look in the mirror and yeah. see how short had taken it. Yeah. And she went, whoa. And I went, what do you mean, whoa? She went, that's short. And I went, what do you mean? She said, it's too short. <laughs> and I obviously went bright red. Yeah, and you yeah. can't, it's hard to deal with then, isn't it? Yeah, and I was only in your young hairdresser, and I went, it's too short. She went, it's way too short. And I went, you should see the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> see, I bet that went down real well. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's kind of like similar to how we teach with the psychology. If you start through the front, they see it immediately. Yeah. You yeah. see it, you're happy with it. Yeah. And it's off you go, isn't it? Yeah. So for me, it was like, okay, I can't do this. It just put me off doing short hair in a way. Yeah. And there's a lot of people who's probably watching who, you know, you might categorize as hair cutting skills and you might just do long hair. You might just do precision haircuts. You might just, you know, do curly hair even. You know, nowadays there's curly hair specialists out there. So for me, it's like, I was a little bit terrified of short hair as an early hairdresser. And then I was like, no, you're not going to break me up. So I went, you know, I started to change the way I thought. So I start on the sides now. I get the client involved, and then I start to see what we want to do. So, so diagonal back, yes. vertical diagonal back section. Yeah, that part to part area. for working. And what are you going to cut? I'm going to cut it all off, sorry. Oh, whatever. It's all right. Well, it's full. Right, I'm going to blue cut it, nice and clean. Okay, uh, Katie. Yeah, sorry. Back to the yeah, <laughs> That's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that, sorry. Why did I ask? I say, well, the girl made me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, distribution, the way I'm 
Combing the hair, elevating, the way I'm elevating the hair is 90 from the head. Uh, if you're not very technical and you're like, what the hell is he talking about, just pull it to the wall. <laughs> At the end of the day, just make life simple. Okay, that's what we're all about. I think that's the huge thing with you just said there, because that's all part of what I do, is the whole four way from what you want to Yeah. I'm literally pulling it to places in the room. Yeah. Yeah. I, we can yeah. call it all these names and stuff. For me, I'm like that. You know, I use the wall, I use the ceiling, I use the corner of the wall. You know, and then some people then say, oh, is that 45? And I'm like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. too technical Probably 48. Yeah, 48, yeah. yeah. It depends if you've got, you know, how you stand it. You've got heels on or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm just literally just bringing everything out, 90, blunt cutting. Bringing everything to that wall. Yeah, everything to that yeah. wall. Uh, plant your feet, palm to palm. Uh, if you're a little bit nervous and you're like, am I going off base? Am I travelling? Then don't be shy. Just do a cheeky little cross check. Okay, just do a little cross check and don't be don't be shy. Ooh, I'm impressed. Yeah. Can't handle that orange. No, no pressure there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah. All right. I did have Weetabix this morning. Though. How many did you have? Three. Oh, I had two. <laughs> I went with the serving size. Yeah, I'm, uh, for some of the guys who don't know me, I'm going back to England uh, Wednesday to see my mum and the family. So we've got loads of milk in the house, so I thought better start. Better get a drink in that <laughs> milk. Better start using the milk. <laughs> <laughs> Not like wasting anything, me. Pop an oven. <laughs> <laughs> right, so then I'm going to go into the back behind the ear now. All right, so you've got more hair. So you're going to start at the top and I'm going to work my way down. And then I'm going to work my way down. So I'm just working parallel to the parting. So my fingers are slightly diagonal. Uh, distribution the same, 90. Elevation, 90. And, it, you, and you're it, following the head shape Yeah, too. following the head shape, yeah. So what we would call technically convex, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or some people, what uh, would you call that in your Tony and Guy world? Because I, I know... Think they would call it a vertical... Uh, graduation. Okay. Yeah, like vertical because you know, but you know what? Because you're cutting like vertical. Yeah, so vertical graduation. Yeah. And then just everything down. And then if this was a little, little bit longer, say like you're working and you said, oh, I don't want to go that short, then you could use a razor, you could use a point cutting. But when it gets shorter, razor in and point cutting does jack shit. If it's short, it's short. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just, you know, I don't know what Kelly agree with that. Probably, I do. Queen, but I see some people and they and they're like there it's hard and they're raising it, and I'm like, mm -hmm, it's not really going to be much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you might as well just blunt cut it and make it softer later with a razor. I don't know if that's something that you would work with. It yeah, it depends on the texture. texture yeah. It. Probably. I would rather do one haircut than two. So, yeah. But I feel like you know, if you're going to point cut something. You know, and you're going to make it really soft. It's got to have some length to point cut. It's got to have some hair to raise it. Mm -hmm. It's so so short, then it's just easier just to yeah, I point think, cut it. I think that's the thing, isn't it? That's what you always say, uh, yeah, Kelly. Right. When you don't, when you can't really yeah. control it. Yeah, then there's no point. Just say, like for example, you do this, you dry it all off, and then the lady says, "Oh, it's a bit heavy." You know, I don't like that weight line. Then all of a sudden, you can go in later and break that up. Mm -hmm. That weight line, you're paying for it, though. If you're paying for it, I'm good. If it's not a good weight line, then you know that's it. Well, I, I always like say so you build the structure of it first, and then you can decorate it afterwards. Yeah. You know? so, similar kind of theory, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's finished. All right. So, and then if you're a, a, a cross checker, you can see now, guys, because you okay. brought it to that wall. Sorry, I'm making. No, it's all right. No, don't be silly, mate. You can see how it folds it nice. Good mm -hmm. All right, so you just see that kind of shape there. Again, if you're, uh, if you're a little cross-checking, you can go through horizontally, just check the shape, check the shape. Uh, don't go it all in one go, because what will happen is you'll concave it, and then you'll create like a hole in it, and then all of a sudden, if there's a really big long bit all the way through, you just go back through and master it. Uh, another way you can cross-check it is the opposite way, put your fingers down. So you've got your fingers up, yeah. and then you can go with your fingers down and check. Just loads of ways you can do it. 
If the client starts all of a sudden she's a bit nervous, she's a new client, I would cost check like this. Why? It just gives her reassurance. Yeah, I feel she's starting to turn into Darth Vader. And she's like, That's amazing. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, just give me a minute, I'll just cost check it up. <laughs> You've lost me. I'm fucking dead. That's brilliant. She's Darth Vader in it. Yeah, she's Darth Vader in it. I was like, who's Darth Vader? <laughs> That's what Jack said. Yeah. I needed the sound effect that I was back on board. It's so yeah. good. <laughs> Yeah. Looks nice. Sure mm -hmm. Right, and then what I'll do now, I'm going to do the exactly the same on the opposite side. Right, so I'm going to start the front, and I'm going to work my way into the back. Okay, um, so I haven't got a guideline. So if any of you are younger hairdressers out here and you're watching this, you're like, wow, this is funky. They don't teach me this at cosmetology school. This no, is cool. Don't. Can I try this on my mum? <laughs> I'd say I would try it on my mum first. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, what, that's what moms are for. So if you're a little bit nervous, because we want it to be the same length. Okay. okay. We don't, you could, you know, if you, you put your own spin on it, you could make it your own haircut and just make whatever up there. But I want this to be the same length, so you feel like, ah, oh, I haven't got a guide. So, you know, maybe it might be better to do your diagonal section, do the first section, yeah, get a really strong guideline and then use Pop that. Pop over and do that. Yeah. And then once you've got the proper guide, then you can just go all the way through one side, all the way through. Some, some, some of you might want to alternate. You might go a couple of sections, a couple of sections. You might yeah. like walking around. That's yeah. me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Everyone's different, you know. So hopefully now I can get it the right length. <laughs> Let's come around. Let's turn it around. Yeah. Let's see the turn. Around. You'll come and then come way there. Yeah. Right, That's so this good. side now, being right handed, I'm going to put my fingers down and I'm going to follow me full. I yeah. think you say that. I do, I'm just thumbing the way. Yeah, that's it, so, you know. It's funny, we, we only met each other, what, how many years have you been here? What, about five? So I've probably known you, what, four years? Yeah, years? it's got to be yeah, like 2017, I yeah, think. Yeah, something like that. And it's amazing how, like, you know, we have the same kind of ways of cutting and the same. Cause so much you can learn similar you know, for the best. Era. It's a similar era. So, flat part your fingers. This is graduation. This is layering. That's how I teach it. That's the same. All right. So, like, if you want to do a layer, you're outside your finger. If you want to graduate, you're inside your finger. Yeah. When I get some people doing graduation and they do this, but then you've got and I'm like, look, to do that. Ooh, yeah. good luck. There goes my uh, knuckle. Yeah. Yeah. Or oh, I'm doing yoga. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite is when people cut that hand. I'm like, just step round, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, that's, that's the Sassoon on stage cutting technique. Like, we're all trying to do that as if you're looking through the mirror. Yeah. So, everybody does it now. And it's like, come on. Right, so, what I'll do is uh, I'll get the comb before I start cutting. And on that comb, we have inches. So, this is your comb, isn't it? Yes, yeah, this is not comb. comb. This is no, not... we had it actually made for us. So, it's been around about four years now. Uh, so we had it moulded, uh, especially handcrafted for us. Uh, it's got an edge logo, very, very small, because we're not all about, hey, it's about edge. It's just a cool comb. It's, it's sharper than any other comb, so it's easy to section. Yeah. The spine is squarer than any other comb, because a lot of combs are more like rounded inside. Mm. So when they're rounded inside, they can push and they can fold the hair. So it's squarer, so when you put it in and do scissor all the comb, you get a cleaner line. And, the thing and then you've got inches. Too, you've got your inch marks yeah. on it. You can't quite see it on the camera, but it's yeah. subtly it's got inch marks yeah, there. Yeah, so it's so an eight inch comb. If you're a measurer, yeah. then you've got... Two inches there on that side. So it's two inches there, so that means I'll come around here now, and I measure, I need to be two inches. Okay? That seems to work for me. I don't yeah. see any problem in that one, guys. I like that a lot. Yeah. And if you're a little bit nervous, go a little bit longer, if you're want to, yeah, it's better to always, you can always put more off, yeah, and then if you want to check, you're going to stand in front of your client, or you're going to stand behind your client, if you don't stand on the sides, because, well, you're never going to know, you're going to get it right, yeah? you so, need to be central, don't yeah, you, yeah. that's what the mirror's for too, you know, measure it by looking in the mirror too, yeah. we don't have one here, but, no, and, and as, if any of you are educators out there, you probably agree, you're like, when's the last time you had a mirror? <laughs> <laughs> They're usually on the stage, if you're Yeah, that's traveling. it, you're like, wow. Hello, Germany. Germany. Saying hello from Germany. Oh. Germany. 
So as you can tell, Anthony is a uh, northerner, he's from England. Yeah. And the whole idea of the orange thing has to be obviously Blackpool, doesn't it? That's it, my home colours. So everyone's like, I like your orange corn, why is it orange? And if you get to know me a bit more, it's my home colours. So it's my football team, it's my tan colours, it's orange. So that's what it is. So you're doing the same thing on this side that you did on the other, the only thing that's different is your finger placement, your fingertips down now. Yeah. yeah that's it. Exactly the same. So, diagonal backs, distribution, elevation, 90, or easier to say, straight out of the wall. Okay, blunt cut. And then you're going to be obviously taking more off Behind the ear. So you're just following the head shape down now into the yeah, neck. That's it. Again, how many sections you take, all depends on the density of the hair. If you can see your guideline, that's great. If you can't, can't just guess it. You know, you can see that guideline. Some of the experienced hairdressers out there, we all know we can get a little bit bigger with our sections. You, can, you know, after years of doing cutting, you can feel the section for me now. But, you know, for some of the younger ones, just don't get too big, don't get too cocky. No. You know, take small sections. Because sometimes taking a big section and a big section, and then you cross-check, 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 you cross-check so much, you could have just done it perfect the first time round. Yeah. Cross-checking took longer. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, clean, 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 clean. Yeah. Instead of going Saturday morning section, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, I think the key thing is just you've got to use common sense. You know, I know it's not in abundance, uh, but you really have to kind of just really use it. Elevation, 90. Sure, 90. Yeah. It's easy to drop it. Totally, All especially right. with this position. So you're, you're looking for that to be square there. You're looking at that nice square so line. So if you look line. at Anthony's position, guys, you'll notice that his elbow isn't above his shoulder. They're in line. That's when it starts to get hard, is if you start to push that shoulder, uh, the elbow above the shoulder, then it's harder to keep that position. So it's all about the height of where he's at too. What's up, Craigie? Nice to see you, pal. No, you're fine. I go around you. twisted it yeah. and we put a, a elastic band around it and then we painted it and then we tie-dyed it and then we took the elastic band out and then it was all tie-dyed. Hmm. I remember doing a show like that and it was different. Very, very different. <laughs> 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 right, so I'm not leaving it. Alright. <laughs> 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 we won't be tie-dyed. Tie we won't be leaving it. Leathers down and path path there. Well, no, you know, there's some people who are watching, they might go like, no, oh, that's cool, days. I rock that. You know, that's cool. Oh, uh, yeah.
Need to figure it out. I'll just pop to your uh, oh, website. Okay. website so do you want to get a cone, guys? Go for it. Yeah, go for it. Nice. I like it because it's extra long too. Like it's I know you use it. I know you use it. I have it, yeah. When I work on the long day, I use it. Because it's obviously, I know that it's, it's got its um, derivatives from your background, hasn't it? Working yep. with a longer cool. Yeah. Right, so let's crack on with the nape. Alright, so what I've done then, I've just literally just clipped out a little bit of the hair. I'm not, I'm not taking it all in one go. So that, that area is still clipped up. So instead of just grabbing it all in one go, that's too much hair in that nape. Right. So this horizontal section is usually... I would say uh, around about the occipital bone. So not below the crown, yeah. but like but around about the O bone. Mm -hmm. You know, so what you're trying to do is like complement the head shape. Alright, so I don't want the weight line to be sitting above the bone. So think about when you do like graduated bob, any kind of square graduation, then you want it to be tight into the nape, but then you want it to be complementing the head shape. Okay. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now, there's lots of ways you could do, you could work at 45 and you could rotate and rotate if you wanted to do that way. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go horizontal. Okay. Right, because I've got a guideline on both sides. Right, so and I'm just gonna connect it, and I'm just gonna go on the base, on the base, and then I'm gonna drop it a little bit on the last section. Right. Yeah, I don't wanna go like, Whoa. So if you were to do this vertical, you'd have to start in the middle and you'd be guessing, wouldn't you? Yeah. Whereas this, you'll just go from one corner to the Another other. corner. Yeah. Yeah, plant your feet. So guys, just understanding vertical versus horizontal, what's at play, you know? One's obviously all about elevation and one's about over direction. So for me, it's all about planting your feet, yeah? Coming right back. So in a way, like, it's nice probably if you're an educator and that, to map your, your uh, tripod into like a triangle section. So you use your tripod as your corners. So this is my corner. You got it. So yeah. you're level So you're level. level. Yeah, I used to work in a hair salon where you used to have like big tiles and you have grout, the grout. Yeah, I and I used to stand behind the grout. Yeah. <laughs> Can't go in that tile. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm rounding it. Tile are perfect for hair cutting. It's yeah. like a graph that yeah. you use. So you use things around you in the salon to help you with your hair cutting. So for me, it's like if I lean into that other tile, then I'm like, oh shit, I've rounded it. <laughs> Guys, this is hair cutting 101 in so. <laughs> it's too soft. <laughs> See, this is the beauty of understanding how to cut hair. Just kind of coming at it in these different mm -hmm. random ways. That's a one, two. Yeah, and depending on how the density of the hair is or how high the hairline is at the back, is how many sections you take. So I'll just literally just work that horizontal and across. So you're side. just whapping that hair off nice and dry. So go on, tell me what scissors you're using. <laughs> My own. <laughs> so yeah, we use our own scissors here. And so we just got asked that question too, so yeah. perfect timing. Perfect timing. What kind of shears, Do scissors I use? are you using? You know, my scissors are our own oh. brand. So they're Edge. Uh, these are the 6.25s. So uh, we have a big one. Uh, a seven. Oh, dear. Good <laughs> <lad>. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so these are the six point two fives offset, uh, Atachi Japanese steel, nice and smooth, really light. Uh, so we have them. So if anybody same thing edge seventy four dot com. Yeah, if any of uh, anybody out there is looking for a new scissor and you're watching today, if you DM us. Or reach out to DJ, I'll give you a hundred off. Woo! Okay. Okay. So, any of knowledge destroy fears clients, and you just feel like I need a new scissor. Uh, we do a 30 day, uh, you know, try me kind of thing. So, if you don't like them, you've tried them for 30 days, you've bought them, you tried them, just something that you're not sure about them, then we'll give you money back. You know, because at the end of the day, I'm a hair, 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 hairdresser, I'm an educator. I'm not, I don't sell scissors, you know, I'll just have them as a bonus. 
and I just want to make sure that you've got the right tools to achieve your looks. So, yeah, we, we guarantee it that if you don't like them, we'll give you money back. That's it. So, yeah, finish. They so we just work from one cone until the other, working horizontally through the back. Yeah. Right, so there we go. Very good. And then, in a salon situation, you could maybe get a hairdryer now. You could dry that off. It's an undercut. You know, if you wanted to, you could get that a bit polished. Get a little uh, denim on it, or a little cushion brush. Wrap it, yeah. and then get that nice and smooth. And then you could just literally just tidy up the hairline if you wanted to. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to tidy up the hairline, finish it off a little bit, and then we'll drop down the final section. Cool. That's it, finished then. Right. You know, it's kind of short and sweet. So how short do you want to go on the sides? You look at like the ears, like the client involved. Does she, does she wear an earring? Does she want to see her ears? Is no. she like, oh my God, I don't like the ears, cover them up. And you're like, okay, she's got a facelift, then leave it all long. <laughs> <laughs> all these things you have to take into consideration. Don't show the scarring. Don't show the scarring. She wear glasses. You know, because it's not just all about face shape. You know, a lot of people always say, oh, face shape, hair, square, oval. But at the end of the day, it's also features. You know, nose, chin, you know, Cheap cheekbones, bones. jawline. And then also accessories, if they have like a scar or a mole. Or do they wear earrings? Uh, mm. Or do they have, uh, like in the old days, it was an earring aid. But like nowadays, they're a bit more modern now. <laughs> <laughs> I know my mum's got one. Yeah, oh, she? Yeah. Oh, Controls it with, your phone, with the phone. Yeah. So, but you know, like years ago, they were like a big old battery yeah, behind. Thing behind. And, uh, you know, if you do like a mature client. You'd be you know, watching TV and it'd start whistling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just tidy up wherever. Uh, you could literally carve that out if you wanted to. You could go in and piece it. You know, if I was doing this on my mum, she'd probably want that more feathered. She would call right. it. I softer. Like it and with softer on so, the edges. Yeah. So what I do, I go in there and I just do some deep point cutting. Yeah, and make that a little bit more looser. Thinking about the haircut, what it's going to look like when, in maybe a week or two when it's growing out. Um, if some of you like this kind of shape and you wanted to make it a bit more solid looking, you blunt cut the whole perimeter. You know, you could blunt cut this, blunt cut this, but I don't like that because I think she looked like a Lego lady. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Too blocky. Yeah, I went to Lego Land last week, so I'm more yeah, 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 right. Nice one. Alright, so again, that's, I'm just going to point cut the perimeter. I'm just thinking about what the haircut's going to grow out like, that's all. Okay. Um, And then, you know, sometimes the hair grows into the middle, you can have a little whirl on a real client. Then, you know, you might need to dry this off. You might need to do this more freehand on a real client. Just freehand it. And I look like working on the, on, the, on the nape area because then this is where you can customize it. Sometimes you can make it concave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes if you have a little point, it looks like the old haircut from Sassoon, was it the five point haircut? Five like, point, yeah. You know, you have the little points, it looks like a W. Yeah, yeah. totally. Okay. That's, that's, that's three of the points. Go on, I dare you. Do it. <laughs> Anthony is just doing a five point right now. No, no. No, no. Kind of. Three point. Anyway, yeah. three, point. three point two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same here, pal. But there's loads of things, you know, like you could do it asymmetric. You know, if you are working on an offset feeling, you could have done this asymmetric. Yeah. But then sometimes you can do too much to one haircut. So in this case, I'm doing a strong undercut with an offset feeling. Sometimes if you start doing like, okay, then we're going to do a baby bang, and then we're going to do the, the, the nape really short, and then we're going to take the layers short and the crown, all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, she looks like, like a hairdresser. I always, <laughs> I always kind of go with like the rule of three, you know, it's three dimensions, so like... No more than three different things going yeah. on in your haircut because then it gets a bit busy. You yeah, know? it does. It's like, oh, I've got everything in the kitchen sink. Exactly. Come on, here we go. I think it's we do hot that. And cold. I, think we, I think we do that when we're younger hairdressers. Yeah, so, that's, so. Why I, that's why I said, you know, sometimes then all of a sudden you're like, I look like a hairdresser. Yeah. It's like when you go to like a hair show and you're like, I don't know where the hair show is, and then you follow that peacock in front of you. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. And then you're like, Are you a hairdresser? You go to the show. Class. Yeah, how did you know? Oh, you know, you've got the shade chart in your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. So, 
you know, it's fun though, you know, it's experimenting, you know, you always try that. It's like when you're finding models, you go to a beauty school and you find the models the best when they're in beauty schools because they've never been a model before. Then you chop and colour their hair off and they're like, I'm never being a model again. <laughs> <laughs> Made another peacock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, it won't, it won't be that. It'd be a great experience, honestly. It'd be a great experience. I think we've it? done plenty of. <laughs> I know I've done plenty of peacocks. You're really good to do it. And then all of a sudden, like, what the hell have you done to me yet? <laughs> Consultation was a bit different. <laughs> right, so then. Uh, I like to customise. Uh, Customising is like bespoke, tailor-made, individuality. It's putting your signature on it. It's a bit like what DJ was saying earlier. Put the foundation in and then you decorate it. So, well, if I go in there now and I see a nice square line, if I was a shit, a shit cutter, then I'd probably go, yee-haw, and get a smoke machine and start flicking it, Ooh, and getting rid of that, you know, getting, hiding all my mistakes in a way. In a way, I don't want to hide the mistakes. So look, if I look at that now, I can see a nice line. I don't want to lose that shape either. So I'm just going to go deep point cut, parallel. So I'm still keeping the foundation. I'm still keeping that shape there. Well, what you see and what I see are always going to be different. And that's why it's called customizing. Yeah, some people use spinning scissors, um, you know, and different tools to break it up. But for me, it's just... I like this way personally, yeah. because you're in control. Yeah, me too. Uh, and that's down to you. If you want to go crazy with the customising. You know, we've all been to beauty shows. We've all seen different brands do education. Some get crazy. And I think it's, it all comes down to what am I doing? Why am I doing it? It all comes down to the why. Why am I picking it up like that and doing some deep point cutting? Because I'm making it softer and I'm thinking about how the hair's going to grow out in the next two or three weeks. Just going to think about that. The client wants to move it around. The key to this haircut, a good haircut, is versatility. So I want it to be able to move it around and have fun and be more playful. If I left it a little bit too heavy and too structured, it might be a little bit harder for us to manage at home. And that's just my personal take on it. All right? You know, we could discuss this all morning with different people watching. You know, but... There's a lot of brands out there and they just get a bit like, oh, you know, they start slicing and doing all sorts of stuff. You know? So let me catch everybody yeah. up, what we've got going on so far is the under part of the undercut. Yeah. Uh, shorter layer, uh, follow pulling everything to the wall this way and then on the same on the other side. And then through the back, pulling everything to the wall and connecting those two corners together. And then as you can see on this side, it drops a little bit lower, so we've got a kind of a symmetry that's going to come through the top now. Yeah. With how that weight's going to fall. Right, so now we go on to, um, I forgot I'll stay on the back. So what we'll do is we'll flip it down a bit. And then I'll just keep that clipped up for now, so it's not like on it in a face or anything. And then we'll just concentrate on the uh, the back panel. Okay. So instead of dropping everything down and like, okay, we're doing, we're leaving it longer now, and they're like, what am I doing? We'll just drop this down, okay. Uh, and then it's, it's, oh, it's you've got two choices here. You could connect it, or you could disconnect it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It depends on if they've, if they've got a very flat head shape. Yeah. And you want to give them a head shape, and you feel like I want to give them some nail definition, mm -hmm. then you could just bring everything down to a stationary guideline. Stationary meaning not moving, so you're just bringing everything down onto that guide underneath, like maybe the occipital bone. So I'm kind of like a graduated bob over the top of this now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then if you feel like, oh, well, yeah, I've got a massive occipital bone, it's like, who's your friend? <laughs> yeah, it's like your cabbage screen, mate. All right, then, <laughs> all right, then all of a sudden you're going to leave it a bit softer. So what you'll do then is you'll just do exactly the same method, mm -hmm. but you'll just disconnect it. Maybe going go, over the guideline. Go to the hairline. You can even go to the hairline, line, yeah. yeah, and just have it really shattered. Again, that's just your own spin. I'm going to connect it today. Do you ever teach in the UK? Do I ever teach in the UK? I used to all the time. Uh, Generally, when he goes home now, he goes home just to see his family, don't you? Yeah, I was tempted to do a, a class uh, while I was back 
we did reach out to a few salons in Blackpool and said, hey, shall I come and do a class while I'm there? No, they said, yeah. And I was like, okay. And then this new variant hit. And I'm just, and Gloria and me were like, it's not worth it. You know, is it worth teaching a few people? You've got to see your family. We've got got a five-year-old little girl. I feel that once all this is kind of, you know, sorted out, everyone's on the same page and that, we can travel like we used to. I think Anthony and myself will be back over into yeah. the UK and they both teach some classes. No, we've talked about it in the pub and have a beer, like, oh, we'd love to go together, watch a football game, I me and DJ, mm-hmm. and then maybe do a class together somewhere, you know, because we're both Northern and we've probably got followers all over the country, but. So we'll do uh, a class in the we north. Could do, we could do one in the north, and I think we'd probably do all right. You know, we know a lot of salons there who could probably give us their salon for the Sunday. And do a class, so I don't know. It's not a no and it's not a yeah. <laughs> so what'd you choose? Are you going to... Going to connect it. Connect it. Yeah, I'm going to connect lad. it. I'm going to connect it. All right, so I'm just going to bring it down. I'm going to use my large teeth. So there's going to be a disconnection, but a connection at the same time. So it's going to connect here, yeah. but then I'm going to disconnect the sides. Yeah. Good lad. Okay. Right, All right. So I just wanted to give a little bit of structure there. So large teeth of the comb now, because I'm working around the crown. Some people have a double crown. Some people can have a whirl. Some people have a strong growth pattern here. If I start to force it too much, too much tension on a fine teeth, mm-hmm. uh, it might jump up. It might go above the old bone, and then I'm like, oh great, okay, it's not even complementing the head shape. It just looks dreadful. So better to leave it longer. Okay, so. In a way, dropping down to a stationary 45. If I teach this like as a graduated bob, classically, then usually what I, I have a little, little trick what I say with my Go comb. comb off I put my comb flat on the crown there, and, and I say, where you want to bring it there to. you go, there's 45. Okay, there's your angle. If you go above that comb, you get electric shock. <laughs> it's like playing that old game when I was a kid, Operation. Yeah, I yeah? That. <laughs> And you were like, Have you tried that now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm a bit older now. I'm not going to say it this age, I keep I'm such a good size. I'm like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> Alright, so for me it's like kind of like, use your comb as little tricks. That's what I try and do. Alright, so just working that square. Like that. It's really complementing the shape. All blunt. Okay, just move that around. And then, yeah. we'll just now continue. You start to see the build up. Yeah, and if you, way, we'll you might say, oh, now maybe that's enough weight then you could slightly disconnect you know the next one or you could even add a bit more into it so like say for example you think oh i don't want to add all of it in you just stop when you want it you know you turn a little dangly bit over it Come it down twist that out of the way Come it down again thank you for the comments guys I, I wish I could understand some of the other languages, but All right. I'm kind of limited to English, I British, they were, I English. Saying, uh, <laughs> I thought they were saying they couldn't, they couldn't understand my language. <laughs> 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 that my well, we, we, that we got your translator here, yeah. <laughs> using as much yeah, tension. Yeah, and if you watch something, you know, you can even pat that, you know, lots of things. Like, if I was doing like a graduated bob, I hope, you know, it will really loose like that. With a graduated bob, it's one length, it's precise. So sometimes when I get to like maybe the, the final section like this, on the top mm. of a bob, or a graduated bob, I'll leave it out, blow dry it. Be really loose and then, with it. And then just do it dry. Yeah. You know, and I learned that in Sassoon's. Didn't learn that at all, anyway. So I never worked for Sassoon, so just to clarify that, I just went on a couple of classes. You know, I like it when people say, oh, I used to work there, and then they went on a one-day class. <laughs> 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 I just literally went on a few day classes, and that's it. My kind of background was more sounding guy, 20 years, and then I just do my own education now. So we offer one, two, and three-day classes here in San Diego. If any of you are hair salons, uh, salon owners, and you've got a salon in North America, we could come out to your salon and do a class for you. Um, and that's what we do. 
All right, and you bring everything down once that weight line, and then all of a sudden you start to see it really complements the head shape now. I love mm -hmm. that bluntness. Nice yeah, sleeves nice. covered in orange hair and not even cutting. <laughs> <laughs> That looks great. Yeah. See, now, we're, now yeah. we're talking. Yeah. Now we're talking. It really just complements and nice and clean. Uh, Sharp finishes, so that's worth every penny, that education. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the chocolates. I'm yes, gonna, yes. Oh, I just realised. Thank I you, got Sharp chocolates. Fin. Sharp Sharp fin. Thanks chocolate. for the chocolates. We're, shout out. We've already killed off the uh, chocolate covered pretzels. Yeah. Thank you for my chocolate. Yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry, I was. Been so busy getting Thanks, ready to so, really, it's very nice of you guys. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing you next month. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So last section. What you gonna do? What I'm gonna do. Right. So we're gonna connect it in really. So in a way, it's, there's your guideline. Yeah. Which is your back. Yeah. So you right. you've it's got a, a right. disconnected uh, layer on the underneath, um, and you're putting a kind of on the over on your connective yeah. graduate bottom. to it. Yeah. Right. So, in a way, it's kind of like, you know, if you have a classic haircut and you've got a lady who comes in, she's more of a classic shape, she's, a, she's got a graduated bob and she just wants to be a bit funky, you do like this, mm -hmm. put, put an undercut into your graduated bob. Bit funky. Bit funky. Right, so I'm going to start on the shorter side first, okay, so I'll start on this side first, because remember in the section pattern, what we did, yeah. it was horizontal. So this side is going to be mirrored to that, so it's going to be horizontal across. So we're going to work this horizontal. So there's a purpose for the sectioning pattern. So the sectioning pattern is horizontal. So there's my corner. I'm just going to use that. And I'm going to use that as my guideline. I don't cut that off, otherwise then I've got a rounded graduation at yeah, the back. You're, you're leaving too much of a corner then, aren't you? That's right. Uh, but again, density of hair, hair texture, if I was working on curly hair, you could go a little bit behind and make that a bit softer on curly. Because mm. sometimes, you know, it might say a bit too heavy on curly hair. But I like to have that option when it's dry. Once it's on the floor, there's no option. The next option is like, see you in six to eight weeks when we put it back. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy it back as yeah. an extension for yeah, it. Yeah, that's it, right, I love it. Yeah. And then just bring everything down. So there. Large teeth for the comb, so less tension again, it's nice and square. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, if you've got a lady who's like working from a natural parting, that's great. You, know, you could work yeah. from a natural parting. Ooh, don't, don't go down, yeah, yeah Carol. Slide Slippy sliding. Slide <laughs> yeah, and there we go. Yeah. Carrots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like in cutting chickens. <laughs> and you look down there, I feel like I've cut chookies out. <laughs> <laughs> Come out with a knife. <laughs> huh. Get that fringe done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so all blunt again. And so the guys are watching, if you feel like, oh, I've got a lady who's got curly hair, she's got thicker hair, same then thing. just do the same, you know. But if you feel like it's a bit too solid, you can always point for it, or you can break the line up later. Yeah, you could go in here and you just this would look great on curly hair. Yeah, mm -hmm. it really would. Yeah. Really yeah. would. Okay. Don't need to go too far over because you know it's coming over that way. I might even just put a slight little bit of a softness in it. So maybe going towards the middle because I'm going to be wearing it over that way a little bit, mm -hmm. and then we'll do the opposite side the same. But we are going to go on a different angle. So remember the angle. So you're, right? you're, you're going with the angle, you're yeah. matching the angle. So the angle is diagonal forward. So your sectioning really helps you with yeah. where you're going yeah, afterwards. Yeah, you're just mapping it out. So diagonal forward, drop that down. And then my guideline, that corner again. Brilliant. But then instead of squaring it like we did on the opposite side, I'm just going to go a little bit longer. And how long do you go? It's up to you. Oh, yeah. depends on the, how many chins she's got. And you can. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It's so, all about the know, chins, people. At the end of the day, if this is not a good part of the client. See, that's the and thing. And you're going to make it softer. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be more forgiving for someone with like a rounder face. Yeah. Or maybe a couple of chins. Yeah. And then, if, and then if 
can just creep it up a bit more. Yeah. If you've yeah. got some, if you've got a really good chin and neckline, <laughs> then you can afford to go round shapes yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And you know, I'm just realistic. You know, yeah. I'm realistic. I'm not here to no, knock anybody. Super, it's a super honest way of putting it. And it's very similar to how I say it. Everyone's always looking at that front view that the client looks like in the mirror. You've got yeah. to look at this profile. The profile. That's what you need to see. What's happening? What are you doing when you do face framing? What's it doing to the chins? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and and no, I'm, not, I'm not knocking anybody or anything like that. I don't want to come across like cocky or anything. It's just like it's nice just to talk about like, hey, yeah, you can square it. You can do it a little bit longer. You can go longer, longer. And then sometimes you might want it long, and you can emphasize that with like a different coloured orange, you know, so you emphasise the asymmetry and the offset feeling with a colour placement. Mm. Right, so it's just, right, so what you do then, you bend your finger and you're literally working longer. You need down longer. And uh, some of you might not want to work for your fingers. You might think, oh, you know what, I might do that and do that and pat the ear and, you know. Keep it heavier. Yeah. yeah. I was at beauty school, I'd probably take two more sections, but... <laughs> We're professionals well, here. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that all falls into that thing when you've got a stationary guideline. Yeah. Take you know, as you want, can't you? Yeah, where the, where the guys are standing now with the camera, if I calm that down, you can see that. Yeah, you see it all the way through. You can see it all the way through. Yeah, if I can't see it, I'm completely okay. blind. Shot of that. Pew pew! Okay. Yep. That's a good one, David. I'm um, asking about how do we talk to the clients about our double chin situation. <laughs> I mean, it's something you've got to be brutally honest with, you know, and I feel like yeah. if you're not already like that with your client, it's going to be a tough one, you know. Uh, you've got to Tell them what's going to be exposed, what we're emphasizing, what we're not emphasizing. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, you know, uh, how do you do it, Kelly? Um, you you yeah. do more clients than me and Anthony. Um, I, I usually phrase it like, are you comfortable exposing this part of your face? Or <laughs> that's kind of where <laughs> not, I go with it. Not, not this part. Yeah. This part, are you right comfortable here. with yeah. this part of your, your yeah. body? Yeah. yeah. I would say the same, yeah. Like you, you know, you're really going to see this. But, but as you notice, you know, some of you are just... First time maybe even see me demo, and this is how I talk normally, guys. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not bullshit. So my clientele know how I talk to them. Yeah. So I, if I do a client in the chair or model, no. Because I deal with models all the time, like young girls who want to be in our collection, and I'm just like, no, you're having a friend, if you're having a friend, you're having a collection. Is that? You know. So I talk to them differently, but yeah, you know, paying clients and stuff, and they appreciate it. I feel like sometimes in that kind of case, it might be if you're doing a mature client. And I like to say mature client instead of older client. So if a mature client comes to the salon and uh, you know they want to have this kind of shape, and unfortunately everything's going a bit south, <laughs> then you just got to say It's going a bit pear-shaped. Yeah, so you just have to be honest. Yeah, mate, it's all about tact, isn't it? Tact. Yeah, yeah. tact. Yeah. Even just showing them, you know what I mean? Like having your client face the mirror, pull the hair away that's like over it and be like, this is what it's going to look like. Is and that what you want? Yeah. And you got to, you know, it's all about people skills, isn't it? Yeah. Being able to talk to people. Unfortunately, not everybody's adapted to that, especially, you know, a younger generation, probably not that great. At right. Really comfortably talking about someone's chins like that. Yeah. yeah. Probably might come across as offensive how they yeah. say it. So you just got to be tactful. You know, they're always the, um, there's a superstar in your chair, you know? Yeah, well, and know that, like, you're trained as a professional and they ask for your opinion, so you're going to give gonna... them what you think is right, because yeah. nobody's yes, whole... If you're a yes person, then it's going to go south right. quick, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I've seen that happen a couple of times. Mate, it looks great. <laughs> yeah, it looks really cool. So this side, obviously, squarer, yeah. a little bit solid, reminds me of Fifth Element. Mm -hmm. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, yeah. And then obviously a little bit longer on this side as Very well. Very nice. Uh, so then, you know, if you want to put a cheeky layer in, you're more than welcome to do that as well. You know, again, that's kind of like just being more customized. Uh, what I might do here now is just literally just tidy up that front, front to connect it in. Because if you think about it, it's long there, it's long here, but it's disconnected at the front. 
what we're going to do now is bring everything forward of your client's face, and you're just literally going to carry that line down. And you're going to, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're just going to use that as that guide. There's your guideline. You can see it just stopped. Bend your finger, and then just connect the fringe in. You know, keep that nice and solid just there as well. So a nice solid graduated top area, nice solid layered underneath. So you've got two different techniques going on, two different shapes going on. So the, the beauty of why, why we do things like this guys, with this disconnection through the top and the underneath is the movement that we're going to get from there and that separation will just look and react so much better sometimes than something that's always connected. Look at disconnection like wearing layers of clothing instead of a jumpsuit. You know what I mean? A, a fully connected haircut is a jumpsuit, so it doesn't move the same. But like, the way it looks nice. I remember doing a photo shoot now, and this was a real model. You know, how much versatility we've got in the shoot. That's what I'm looking at. Like, I've got one model, I've paid a thousand dollars for it for the day, uh, and I'm literally now going to get a few looks out of it. All right, so I'm going to blow dry it smooth, then I'm going to flatten the eye in it, then I'm going to let it all a little bit more grungier. I could take it off a face, I could bring it on a face. Everyone could... wants to be a model now. Yeah, but that's, you know, like professional models. I'm having a <laughs> You get a tenner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's hairdressing models, you get 50 quid or something, and you know, that's it. But like, no, professional models, you know, like if you're doing a campaign for like... See that, another look guy. now, he's working with yeah. the disconnection, like, beautiful. And then all of a sudden, you show off that yeah. disconnection. Very Put nice. Some gel in there, you know, product in there, it was completely different. Yeah, imagine, like DJ and Kelly saying, imagine if you curled it. So if you scrunch this now, or you've got a curling wand, and, you did, and then broke it all up, it looked completely different again. So I feel like, yeah, it looks great on curly hair, wavy hair, straight, uh, and then if it's really, really thick, then I would probably disconnect the back a little bit more. Uh, you, and then once you've got your client involved in this haircut, and you come back like six weeks of time, where do you change it? That's the trick, is where do you go next? So where do you go next? You could take this even shorter. Pixie. You could literally go in and scissor over comb this now. You could put a weight line in here. So I could literally just go in here now, Go horizontal weight line, drop that down, and then scissor over comb to the weight line. Mm -hmm. Maybe even do some clip at over comb, you know, like a barbering technique, or uh, fitting underneath, or fitting underneath, and then that top falls over the top. Um, I will dry it off camera and stuff like that, and I might put a cheeky layer in it. All right, if I do layer it, then I'm going to work with an offset layer. So, what that means is I'll probably just put a little layer in by just bringing everything up to the ceiling. Okay, so I have to bring and you're going to pull everything to that? And I'll pull everything to that because I'm working on an offset feeling. So I might just take off an, an inch, yeah, but I don't, I, I want to see what it looks like when it's dry. I don't want to take out Yeah, don't do it now. It looks brilliant now. Yeah, it looks yeah, really so good. I mean, because, don't fuck it up. Because <laughs> <laughs> you want to see the strength out on the outer edge. You want to see the strong shape. Uh, and I like to sometimes do dry cutting with a layer. So I could literally just bring that up on the base over direct it or it might you know that like, you know when sometimes it's one length and you just get that little cut that little triangle weight line in that the middle convex peak yeah yeah, yeah 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 i might just just go in and just make that off so then it just gives me a bit more swing to it really yeah but so I'm the just... strength of the graduation just lighten that corner yeah, yeah. That's it. awesome so i uh, just want to say thank you for everybody that's tuned in to watch us today yeah, thanks uh, for having me Thank you, Anthony, for Anthony for coming along and uh, showing us this awesome technique. And thank you, Kelly, for coloring the mannequin. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll be back next week um, with our last one of the year. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks, pal. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thanks, Have a wonderful week at work and uh, all your.